Hey guys, Richard here with Richard C. Howard LLC. Today talking a little bit about competitor analysis and the huge benefit it can give your company uh, when you're trying to figure out your approach to selling in the federal marketplace. So a couple of things to think about is one, first, you know, what do I consider a competitor to be or, or from our perspective? And that's a company that is in the same industry as yours, sells similar products and services, but has been selling successfully to the federal government for the past five to 10 years. So someone that's been in the game for a while. Um, the other thing to think about is that all of the information that I'm discussing is publicly available. So whether you're going to SAM.gov or FPDS or USA Spending, there are a lot of different places you can find information. But some of the things or some of the benefits that you can get from that are, first and foremost, finding those companies that are selling to the government, seeing which agencies they're selling to. You can see which agencies and sub-agencies they're selling to relatively easy. Uh, with a little more work, you can see exactly what offices they're selling to. And that can be extremely helpful in targeting what agencies you're going to sell to. So having focus is, is a really big part, especially for small businesses, of selling successfully to the government and just having a successful business development campaign. So first, it's focus. Who, who are they selling to? And the next thing, very important, how are they making their sales, right? You're basically from seeing how they are making their sales, you're gonna see how the agencies prefer to make purchases. Some have contracting vehicles, which you can identify for onboarding opportunities and recompete. Some sell direct, some publicly compete everything. Some, it's usually a mixture of all of that, um, but you kind of get an idea of where you need to align your company in order to uh, best take advantage of what those agencies are doing. Um, a third uh, benefit, a large benefit is, so first focus, who are they selling to? How are those agencies making their purchases? Now you can also see what exactly are the companies selling? Um, if it's products or services, what products, what services are they selling to those agencies? You can get a really clear idea of what's out there, what the requirements are, and what, um, what agencies are going after just by doing a, a relatively quick competitor analysis. And finally, this might be the most important piece, is these competitors, quote unquote, are also potential teaming partners for you to subcontract with. So, you know, you find opportunities, big opportunities you want to engage with, bringing that to one of these companies could be a potential teaming relationship and could bring um, your opportunity to win, could increase your uh, chances with that by having a good subcontracting or teaming relationship. So, just some thoughts on competitor analysis. Hope you find that valuable. Have a great weekend. Take care. And uh, if you want to, talk with us a little bit further, you can hit the consultation tab in the email. All right, cheers.